The final day for opening arguments from President Trump's legal team was a short one as senators get ready to move on to the question and answer phase of the impeachment trial. The battle over witnesses in the Senate trial continues to heat up with Democrats united in their calls for new testimony while Republicans, they're still split. Others continue to push for a witness swap with Bolton's testimony in exchange for testimony from Joe Biden or his son Hunter. I have a number of witnesses I would like to hear from, uh, beginning with Hunter Biden. We're not bargaining with them. At the end of today's arguments, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced senators will have eight hours of questions for both sides on Wednesday and another eight hours of questions on Thursday. Well, while the impeachment process is presented as a trial, there are many parts of it that don't fit the traditional idea of a trial. Here's Tan Trung with details on why. The impeachment has a lot of elements of a legal trial. It has a judge, it has the prosecution, the Democrats, it has the defense, the president's legal team, and it has the jury, the senators. But as we're seeing, the impeachment is its own creature. The transcript shows that the Fair and impartial are words that often go with a trial, but political analyst Ron Fauche says the impeachment is anything but. What we're seeing is really a hybrid of a, of a normal Senate session uh, that is being conducted under the, under the rubric of a trial. Fauche says the impeachment is far from a legal trial. For example, when's the last time you saw a juror go on TV after listening to the day's arguments? When's the last time you saw jurors trying to steer the outcome while also having the responsibility of deciding it? Listen to Senators Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer. Here in the Senate, the president's lawyers will finally receive a level playing field with the House Democrats and will finally be able to present the president's case. So McConnell seems to want a trial with no existing evidence and no new evidence. Then there's the defendant, the president. In most trials, a defendant will keep a low profile. President Trump has tweeted and voiced his critiques and criticisms throughout the hearings. And finally, back to the jurors. Fauche says some senators up for re-election will have to weigh their decisions carefully. In this unique setting, some jurors may not only be deciding the fate of the president, but also their political future. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Stay with Channel 4 and CBS News for ongoing special coverage of the Senate impeachment trial.